I've been shot. Nine, nine, nine. Tonight, new video showing the moment a Phoenix police officer was ambushed while responding to a call that ultimately left nine officers shot or wounded. In the video, released, transcribed, and blurred by police, the shooter appears to beckon the officer into the home. Police say they were responding to a 911 call of a woman shot inside. But as the officer approaches, who's all in the house? Huh? Who's all in the house? It's me. Who's you? The officer shot multiple times, according to police. Calls for backup. Nine, nine, nine. I've been shot. Nine, nine, nine. It led to a standoff at the home. As more police arrive, a man emerges from the home with a baby, placing the child on the ground before being detained. But as officers move in to rescue the child, more gunfire. <laughs> The alleged shooter, identified by police as 36-year-old Morris Jones, was found dead by suicide inside the home, according to police. The woman police received the initial call about, who they believe to be the shooter's ex-girlfriend, also dead, shot fatally, police say. Remarkably, those nine officers and the child all survived. I think we were all afraid. One of those officers now speaking out for the first time since the shootout. I didn't know what getting shot felt like, but it hurt. I did a quick kind of check for blood, didn't really see any blood, um, so I, I continued on. His superior praising those heroic efforts. They ignored their own pain and all that other stuff that was going on to make sure that they could complete the mission. I didn't really fear for myself. I was kind of in fear for the community and where those bullets were going, really. All right, Priscilla Thompson joins us now live in studio. So, Priscilla, we saw that man take out the baby there. What, what's the story there, and who was that man? Yeah. Well, Tom, police describe that man as a family member. They say he was following their orders and putting the baby on the ground and walking out to be detained when another round of gunfire erupted. Uh, police say he sustained non-life-threatening injuries. They do not believe he had anything to do with this ambush. But, of course, this investigation is still ongoing. And some good news as it relates to those nine officers, those who were hospitalized are now all back home. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.